It's awesome. <laughs> Just hold your hand like this. Connecticut on a winter's day. Enough quietness and solitude to drive a certain type of mind insane. But for many human beings, Connecticut, especially in the winter, is the closest representation of heaven imaginable. It is quite remarkable that just a short drive or train ride away lies the center of the universe. New York City. The Big Apple. Gotham. New Amsterdam. The Melting Pot. Metropolis. The Modern Gomorrah. The city so nice they named it twice. The Empire City. The city that never sleeps. Basically, the epitome of culture. Unfortunately, New York City does have a significant rat problem. Approximately 2 million disease-carrying Norwegian brown rats reside rent-free in various upscale areas of the city. Just a short drive back to Connecticut. It's great to get away from the city, the hustle and bustle. Serenity now. Like many rural areas of the country, Connecticut has its share of local folklore. The most famous of these tales is the legend of the Melon Heads. There are many variations on this legend. The Melon Heads are often described as small humanoids with giant sized heads. As to how the creatures came into existence, there are many theories, many of which can be found on the internet. What you are about to see is a reenactment of a tragic event which may have involved a melon head.
please. No, 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 help, help, please, help.